I'm pretty low on my protein intake for today, so cheers. Diametized chocolate peanut uh, until I make my own personal protein brand. Um, this is as good as it gets. What is going on? Welcome to the video. Now, we've all been in a certain point of our fitness journey inspired by a fat to fit transformation. And it makes sense, right? You're fat, or at least you're not where you wanna be with your physical appearance. You wanna get fit, and seeing someone doing this incredible transformation in 90 days or even a year is giving you hope. It's giving you this feeling that you can achieve the same results yourself. And not just that, but it also gives you a time frame to aim for. So it motivates you to start, but also now you have some kind of structure. You know that if you put X amount of work for an X amount of time, you're gonna get these results. You're gonna get abs, you're gonna get shredded. And that's great. Whatever gets your ass off of the couch and into the gym, I'm a huge fan, okay? However, the problem is that what you see as an article or as a YouTube video about getting from point A, being fat, to point B, being extremely shredded, is just scratching the surface. You're missing so much context and it can easily backfire. Here's what I mean by that. I'm not going to talk to you about someone I've seen on YouTube and bash him for maybe using steroids or whatnot. I'm going to tell you about my personal transformation and show you why it's nothing like you think it is. When I did this transformation and when I posted about it, a lot of people asked me the same three questions. How long did it take you? How much weight did you lose? and what was your training plan, program, or split? And the true answers to these questions are, it took me about 90 days, I lost about 15 pounds, and my training plan, my split, was push, pull, legs. But here's the thing, this is not the first time I'm going on a cut for about three months and uh, losing a lot of weight to show off my abs. Let's go back to the first time I did a transformation. It also took me about 90 days. I also lost a lot of weight, probably about 20 pounds. And I did have six pack abs at the end of the journey. But after that transformation, I did not feel good. I did not look good. I mean, I had abs, but I was extremely skinny. I wasn't feeling great. I wasn't feeling confident. I wasn't happy with the results I got at the end. I felt good that I stuck to it for, for the whole period of time, that I now knew where to go from there, I learned a lot and all that, but I did not get the promised results from those YouTube videos I watched uh, from Fat to Fit Transformation. I wasn't looking uh, shredded at the end of the journey. Because you see, in order to lose about 15 to 20 pounds, all you need is discipline, dedication, and about 90 days. I guarantee that anyone can lose about 20 pounds in 90 days if they put in the work. On the other hand though, if you wanna build muscle and if you wanna look amazing once you get to that 12 to 14% body fat and visible abs, now that's a different story. Okay, now I can see you saying like, but Boban, I saw this amazing transformation on YouTube. This guy went from day one to day 90, from being looking fat and whatever, to being super shredded, looking amazing after 90 days, I can send you the video, you're wrong. Okay, well, now I'm gonna tell you how YouTube transformations work and I'll give you a few scenarios because these are the most common ones. The first scenario, the most common one is when an experienced lifter, somebody who lifts for three, four, five, six years, goes on a bulk to build some more muscle, gets a bit carried away or just prefers bulking a little um, dirtier because they like eating burgers, pizza, and whatnot in the off season. Um, they add about 20 pounds uh, of fat for, for no reason whatsoever. And then they go on a cut, they lose those, those 20 pounds in 90 days, they document the journey. I'm gonna say here, we don't know if it took 90 days. That's a, that's a whole different subject, but let's say it's 90 days. And you see the end results, shredded, looking amazing, muscles popping everywhere, but you as a newbie lifter are not going to have those results at the end of your cut. You're not gonna have any muscle to show off. You're gonna probably look just like a stick with abs. That's what I looked like after my first transformation, like a stick with abs. And those abs weren't that great because I didn't train them too much, three months. Second scenario is 
they played a lot of sports or trained something in the past, especially uh, when they were younger. They were, they were just not super dedicated and they weren't going to the gym, uh, which doesn't mean that they didn't build a significant amount of muscle. Maybe they were a little chubby even, they were kind of fatter, but they were training a lot. They were running or, I don't know, hiking, uh, playing a lot of basketball, soccer, football, whatever they were doing but they did manage to build some muscle. And now that they know a lot more about nutrition, about training, about their body, all those years of like not intentional training and building muscle, uh, it's gonna pay off now. So if you're in this category, good for you. But if you're not, uh, building a lot of muscle and, and looking super shredded and ripped uh, after a short amount of time is probably not gonna happen, okay? So don't get your hopes too high. And the third category, of course, you have the juicing people, the TRT or cycling steroids type of guys that we're not going to talk about in this video. Um, obviously, they can add a lot of muscle by getting leaner by the day, which is ridiculous, but it might come with some serious health consequences. So I'd advise you not to go that way, that road, like just don't do it. And that's all you need to know. If you're enjoying this video, please, please, please hit the thumbs up button because it helps grow the channel and um, it helps for more people to see this video. So you'll be helping me and you'll be helping uh, some newbie lifters to learn more about fitness and whatnot. And we can all just have a lot of fun. So if you want to support the channel, please do that by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And let's continue with the video. So am I making this video to get you all depressed and make you feel like you're never gonna achieve your fitness goals? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. I'm making it so you can get prepared for your personal journey, knowing what to expect in what time frame, and not get super disappointed in three months because you're not the sexiest mother on the planet yet. It's just not how it works. There's actually nothing like that in life. Uh, if it's business, you gotta put a lot of hard work for years to make it into something bigger. If it's a relationship, you gotta invest your time, your energy day in and day out to make it work. It is like that with everything worthwhile in life. So why do you think you're gonna get fit and healthy by putting in three months of work? There's not gonna be a magic tea, a supplement, a certain fat burner, or any program that you can click the link in the description to buy and get you these type of results in three, six months, or even a couple of years. Now, don't get me wrong. Supplements can help, and you do need a good program to follow. But 99% of you achieving your goals or not is going to be if you're putting in the work at the gym and if you're paying attention to what food you're putting into your body. So here are a few things that I want you to take away from this video and keep them very close to you for the next few years of your life. First thing, have small realistic goals. You need to lose an X amount of weight this year, split it into months and then track progress. Losing 25 pounds might sound intimidating, sounds like a lot, but losing two pounds this month sounds very achievable. The second thing is never compare yourself to other people. Yes, get motivated by other people's achievements. Get structure from people that did what you're aiming to do. But don't forget that we're all different. We all have different genetics. We all have different starting points. We all approach things differently. So find what works for you and always try to improve yourself no matter what other people are doing. The third thing is do not overcomplicate it. People just tend to make the simplest things complicated. You need to lose two pounds this month. Get your macros in check and start weighing yourself. If you lost half a pound this week, then great, congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. If you didn't, start eating 200 calories less. Or if you don't wanna do that, you can add a two mile run uh, twice next week. Then see if you lost half a pound. If you did, again, great. Just keep doing what you're doing. If you didn't, readjust again. Eat 200 calories less or add more running. There is no room to complicate. It's not your metabolism. It's not the world against you. It's just not calculated enough or you're not putting in enough work. There's no room to complicate it. Readjust and keep going. I promise it'll work. 
All right, my people, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you didn't when I mentioned it before. It really helps the channel and more people are gonna see the video if you do so, which means that more bros are gonna be inspired to change their lives for the better, which is the sole purpose of me creating content in the first place. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.